video I'm just going to be talking about some of the products that I regularly use. Um, now I've managed to get um, the products that I use down to just a handful really and um, when I started my natural hair journey I tried loads of products and just to find out what worked for my hair and um, now I'll say I'm definitely down to the staple products, the regular products that I use. So I just wanted to share those with you today. And um, I'll definitely recommend if you're just starting your natural hair journey to uh, try lots of product to see, products to see what works for your hair. And then try and really have the aim to narrow it down um, so that you're not using too many. So you know what really works well for your hair. Um, now for each of these commercial products I have uh, a natural alternative so something else that I can use I can get hold of really easily um, like uh, something natural like aloe vera or some different things that I can get from my kitchen that I can mix up and use let's say as a leave-in conditioner so um, I'm not tied down to any of these uh, commercial products and um, I'll say uh, that's a really good thing to um, try and do try not to become dependent on just one or two products um, because they could one day be discontinued or changed or something like that so um, try and have some sort of natural alternative that you can just easily go to and use okay so we will start uh, with the shampoo that I use now I don't use shampoo that often I'm really trying to cut down how often I use shampoo um, but the shampoo I do use um, is Giovanni Smooth as Silk shampoo and yeah that works that works well um, it doesn't contain any um, parabens or um, uh, sulfates um, or silicones I don't think and uh, so it doesn't leave your hair stripped that's a good one um, however I have found that it doesn't really um, I've got an issue with a uh, sort of reoccurring itchy scalp and it, it doesn't really um, uh, deal with that. But I have another one here, which is a medicated shampoo and it's called Sulfur 8. And you can just get that from any Afro hair shop. And that one does deal with the itchy scalp. If I use that frequently, it does. However, it contains um, sodium laurel um, sulfate and um, and that does strip your hair so um, again I don't use that very regularly um, I would just use a combination of the two maybe mix it together and then spray that on my hair um, okay conditioners so at the moment I am using um, herbal essences hello hydration now that's had really really uh, great reviews and it and it does really work it really um, hydrates your hair, really infuses moisture into your hair. Um, I use it to co-wash. I also use it as a um, moisturising deep conditioner because I have a deep conditioner for um, moisture and one for protein, which I'll talk about um, afterwards. And um, what I do is I just mix this up with coconut oil and uh, warm it up and then apply it over my hair and leave it overnight and it just works really, really good. So... Um, I also use this one as well, this is a new one, Herbal Essences Clearly Naked, so 0% paraben and colorant and it's a shine conditioner and it has white tea tree and mint extracts as well and that one works really well. So I use those two and I also use those on my children as well and those work really good. Leave-in conditioner. I use Cantu Shea Butter. Sometimes I mix my own, but if I don't, then I use Cantu Shea Butter. And this is a, I think this is an all-time favourite. I've heard so many good reviews about this and it does really work well on four, my 4C hair anyway. Um, so it's considered a mild protein conditioner. Um, and yeah, it just leaves your hair really soft and hydrated and it's great for setting... Um, two strand twists it gives you a really nice soft hold um, it's lovely and thick Let's just show it to you there it's lovely and thick um, smells really nice it causes my hair to clump up as well um, I'll only say don't use too much of this um, if you do you will have white 
bits left in your hair. Um, when when you're applying this, I would say really uh, try and distribute it well on your hair. Really smooth it out. Really, or use maybe a Denver brush or um, some sort of comb just to smooth it along uh, your hair strand to really distribute it properly. And also, it doesn't mix well with other products. That's the other thing I'll say. Um, yes, with natural oils, I think, but with um, other conditioners, um, it doesn't mix well. So just watch out for that because you could have a lot of um, white stuff left in your hair if you mix it up. Okay, the other um, leave-in conditioner that I use, which is absolutely fabulous, it is uh, Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner. And um, it just works really well. What else can I say? <laughs> it just moisturises your hair really nicely. Um, you don't need lots of it. Um, it smells great. It's thick, thick, creamy things seem to work well on my hair. And it's nearly empty, so I need to get some more. Um, in the UK, you can get this at Holland and Barrett. Not at all branches. You have to go to a bigger, bigger branch. Um, and I would say you can get it for between £6 and £12, so it's well worth shopping round. Um, I think it's more towards the £12 mark at Holland and Barrett. Um, but I buy mine online from a website called skinnutrition.com or .co.uk. And um, sometimes they have offers on, so sometimes you can get this for something like six fifty, something like that. Um, so that's a really good leave-in conditioner and it doesn't have any silicones or things that will build up on your hair. So this works really, really well for my hair. Okay, let's go on to the deep conditioners. So for my um, deep conditioner, like I said, for my moisturising deep conditioner, I will use the Hello Hydration. And for my protein conditioner, I will use my... Can to shear butter and leave that overnight. Um, but also, I will use uh, just things from my kitchen. So, um, I'll use things like uh, olive oil, eggs, yogurt, mayo, honey, um, and I'll just mix those things together and um, make just a really nice conditioner. And I find that when I use those natural ingredients, they actually work probably better on my hair than um, the commercial products so that's well worth a try just mixing up your own deep conditioner and leave it on overnight for lots of moisture or you can just leave it on for like an hour or so 